Derek McCabe is my name. We're here in Mount Nugent County Cavan. We're located in an area along Loch Sheelan, which is in a triangle between Cavan Mead, West Mead and Longford. We farm here on a platform of about 50 acres. In six months time we'll be fully organic. We were already organic in everything but name. You know, we had low inputs, we were minding our ground. Because we were in the forestry industry as it were and in the firewood business and sawmilling, we did a lot of waste material from that which was able to go in for bedding. So you could say we probably operate in the whole principle of the circular economy. So forestry for us started about 25 years ago. We planted our first tree. For a number of years, we bought 20 and 30 acres of land in different places and planted and built up a forestry portfolio of just over 200 acres, spread across a couple of counties, actually. We have about 60% of spruce. We got caught up in the ash debacle, which we have cut out and replanted, and we've put back in spruce, sycamore, birch. We have a stand of alder, we have a stand of oak. We're very conscious that having all your eggs in one basket is probably not the wisest thing. And I think if ash dieback has taught us anything, there is a lot of diseases out in Europe waiting to come in here, and that probably poses the single biggest risk to the spruce plantation of this country going forward. On one hand, it could be counted a negative to have forestry spread around the place, but the positive actually is that you cut down the risk of, you know, disease hitting all of your plantation at one time, fire hitting all of your plantation at one time. Forestry effectively solves all of our problems if we only waken up to the fact that it'll solve climate change, it'll provide the energy, biodiversity, water quality, and they're all the things that are on the tip of our tongues at the minute. Believe it or not, forestry is the solution to all of that. To win the Haggish Farm Forestry Award in conjunction with the RDS, it was a validation, I suppose, an independent validation of what we're doing here. Sometimes you don't realise maybe that you have something of value and something of good. It's not just for me, but it's our family as well. It's a family-run forest here and our kids are involved and it's something that we will leave on to the next generation. And I suppose that's one of the most pleasurable things of forestry is that you leave it for the next generation to do the very same thing. We have a great forestry estate in the country. We have about 12% of our land mass is a forested. There's huge ambitions there to bring that up to about 20-24%. What is equally more important is that we look after our existing forestry as well as moving forward.